गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन एम आई आडिबुल जस्ट रेस्पॉन्ड यस We are missing over the. Okay. Where is Savan? Rohit. Sir, what happened to Savan? Not joined. I don't know, sir. One sir, get the information. Is he able to join or not? Okay. Okay. If possible, make a call. So I am not joined. Joined. मेदर्शी नॉट अवेलेबल सुराजिता सर डोंट नो ओके कोशिक नॉट जॉइन्ड ओके विल स्टार्ट व्हाट एवर इट मे बी पॉसिबल जस्ट टेल देम टू जॉइन Okay. Just a second. I lost. Uh... May this be joined, okay? So yesterday, what we discussed here, just remind me, anyone? Introduction part of a fourth lesson. Along with that, observing the arrow through empty glass and that same arrow through the glass of water. can anybody give me your observations in that activity have you observed practically surajita tejashwini sri charan vikram abhinay rohit anyone did you try Hmm. have you tried no one just uh, see that you will see the magic right arrow automatically reversed right we got the reason also for that <clears throat> why the arrow reversed right here it is because of first case four times refracted air into the glass then glass into the air after that from the second surface air to the glass glass to the air empty water glass right with the water glass what happened with the water glass simply we notice that glass and water will act as only one medium because that water and 
glass almost uh, will consider a single uh, medium. So due to that, light ray from the arrow enters from air to the water medium, then water to the air medium, only two refractions. So in this case, we get inverted and uh, enlarged image, right? So now we are going to discuss about uh, the thing. Here, if you observe, if you observe surfaces, what the types of surfaces are available, right? So here, according to us, there are mainly two types of surfaces. One is plane and the other is curved surface, right? So plane surfaces discussion is over in your eighth class only and in a ninth class related to reflection and refraction, light's property, right? Light properties. So reflection and refraction observed in case of plane surfaces. In 10th class, reflection observed in case of curved surfaces. Now we are observing refraction with the curved surface. Can anybody help me? What is a curved surface? Anyone? Curved surface. No one? Bulged inward or outward surfaces. So is it straight? What the surface you are observing on the screen? What it is? It is a plane surface. S. It is what? A plane surface. Because for any extension, it remains straight. For any extension, it remains straight. Suppose here, look at the another. What it is? Is it straight? No. It is always deviating from that, changing its direction. So these type of surfaces are called what? Curved surfaces, right? Suppose myself, I am observing this curved surface from this direction. This is my observing direction. So how do I feel that surface? How do I feel that surface? That surface observed by me, it is somewhat bulked out. How it is observed? This surface, it is looking like a bulged out surface, right? So this bulged out surface, right? For my convenient, I am giving name. So here, bulged out, out means something existing, right? It is is looking like existing, coming out, right? So using that word for my logical memory, I am using this first two letters, X, right? So using that, uh, I am naming this surface as convex surface, right? So these two letters help me to recognize that surface nature is existing out, right? Bulging out. Is it clear, everyone? How I am rem remembering the surfaces, avoiding confusion, right? So, ex existing out, right? So, bulged out surface is what here? Curved outward or bulged outward. That surface I named ice convex surface. So, based on the observing direction only, we are looking at surface. If you go another side, opposite side, if you now observing this side, observing from this side now, right? So, how do I feel this surface? Is it same eyes like from left side? No. Now, it is somewhat uh, deep inside, right? Deep inside this we can call it as curved inward surface what this surface actually here it is called as curved inward surface so here curved inward so in your uh, social concave uh, that are caves you discussed right 
so it is meaning what it does it mean it is something deep inside right so inside cave meaning right cave meaning is what inside so that's why for my convenient i am remembering that cave word then this is looking like inward something depth inside right so for my convenient i am remembering using the letters c a v cave inward meaning right so like this i am going to remember the surfaces which belong to curved surface right so now the curved surfaces are of two types what they are concave and the other is convex convex is existing ex ending letters ex so here existing bulged out outward surface right that we can call it as convex surface another one inside deep inside or curved inward cave meaning is that only so i am remembering that surface as concave right so convex surface and convex surface uh, concave surface is there any confusion is there any confusion anyone if there is any confusion ask me so never forget which is called as concave surface which is called called as convex surface do you forget if you remember like this never right so try to remember that surfaces names based on this logical points right x k existing i am using x right ex so like that i am remembering clear about uh, curved surface and its types if it is clear we will go for next one go for a quick reaction right so we'll go for the next one so this one now i am using concave surface convex surface now i am discussing with you about the terminology related to this curved surface what is actually curved surface what is actually curved surface can anybody mathematically i will use one word mathematically i will use one word right that word is here simply a or c what does it mean what does it mean anyone sir arc is it this one is it this one yes sir yes so our curved curved surface two dimensionally means what we can call it as arc only if it is two dimensional right now we are dealing with three dimensions right three dimensions what they are length breadth height it has only two dimensions length and width no height okay now we are going to deal with three dimensions right so it has something out surface or deep inside surface right so for them we need to know so arc is what a part of arc is a part of circle circle right if it is a three dimensional figure if it is a three dimensional figure what it will be like just imagine half shell of coconut hemisphere right so what this is actually it is a part of it is a part yeah. of sphere right it is a part of sphere so what our curved surface is actually it is nothing but a part of sphere it is a part of sphere curved surface is nothing but a part of sphere 
So what the terminology we are using in case of sphere, that all the terms related to this curved surface or not? Yes or no, say yes or no. So we can deal all the terms which are related to the sphere that we can apply for the curved surface, which is three dimensional, right? So here, what they are? Sphere height is what? Center, right? Sphere height is what? Diagonal, shard, or a, a radius, like this, curvature. Okay, so all that we can use for this curved surface. So let us discuss that, right? So now the terminology. Right. Before going that, I am using this shaded region. Why I shaded? Why I shaded? Suppose, imagine, imagine this is uh, as a a glass. This is as a glass top view. As we discussed uh, in uh, activity one, right? It is now ice. What is inside the glass we filled yesterday? Water. Water. So we have two different mediums or not inside the glass and surrounded to the glass. Yes, we have. Right? We have. What is inside? Water. What is outside? Air. In any direction, three-dimensional. Around 360 degrees. Right? Inside, we have water. Outside, we have air. Are the same or different mediums? Different mediums. So here, air we can call it as rarer medium and water we can call it as denser medium. How we can decide which is rarer, which is denser medium? Anybody answer? How can I know? How can I know? Which is rarer, it is rarer, which is uh, weight uh, than uh, rarer, it is denser. Sorry. Here, what you learned the density in your ninth class, that density is different comparing with the optical density. Now I am op asking optical density, right? If optical density is less, called as rarer medium. If optical density is more, called as denser medium. What is actually optical density? How do we decide? That depending on this value, what is this value I said yesterday? What is this value? Velocity. Velocity. Where? In vacuum. In vacuum. What happens if this light enters into the medium called atmosphere? Yesterday we used the term market. Moment of a person in the market and on the empty road. To understand about this concept, vertical nature. Speed of light in the vacuum, that light enters into any other medium, its speed decreases. So here, depending on the speed, we are deciding the optical density of the material. So here, in which medium light propagates faster, more speed, that we can call it as rarer medium. So V is more in that. If it is propagating with less speed, that we can call it as denser medium. So V is less denser medium. V is more rarer medium. Is it clear or any confusion? Hello. Okay. So remember 
speed of light. If the speed of light decreased in any medium, it is considered to be a tensor medium. If two different mediums you are considering other than vacuum, we have to observe. Suppose here I have two mediums, air and water. In the air, that uh, speed of light is more compared with the speed of light in water. So, which is act like a rarer medium? Air. Which act like denser medium? Water. So, here if you go for refractive indices, right? Refractive index of uh, air, right? Refractive index of air is 1.0003. And refractive index of water, it is 1.33. So, by knowing the refractive index also, you can uh, decide which is rarer, which is denser. So, which has more refractive index, that is the denser medium. Which has less refractive index, it is rarer medium. So, like this, we can decide rarer medium and denser medium. Now, it is clear, everyone. So, refractive index formula equal to n equal to c by v. c is velocity of light in the vacuum. v is the velocity of light in a medium. Right. So, like this, we can decide the refractive index of a particular medium. So, c always constant. That is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. What we have to find out? Velocity of light in the medium. Then, we will take the ratio. Then, finding the refractive index that is only optical density. I think now it is clear. You have ninth class, this concept, right? So now we'll go for another here. So now I am using here water. If I shaded any region that you can decide as a rarer medium, sorry, rarer medium or denser medium. It is as denser medium. Shaded region is what? denser medium, it may be water or any other, maybe glass also, right? So, we are now dealing with the glass of water. So, glass surface is what? Anybody? Transparent glass, drinking water or something else for drinks purpose we are using. Made up of glass, transparent. What the surface it has? Plain or curved? Curved. Curved. So, if you feel water in it, what is water? Denser medium or rarer medium? Comparing with air. Denser medium. Water is denser medium. Then, the surrounded medium of the glass is? Which is surrounded? Around the glass. Around the glass. Air. air. So, air is what? Rarer medium. Rarer medium. So, do you know that how to identify the mediums and how to represent them in the diagram? So, shaded region is denser medium. Right? Another medium is rarer medium. So, like this, we are representing in our diagrams. Right? Clear? So, this is given in the figure 1 in your textbook, page number 58. Okay. I am giving the figure numbers also. Figure number 1 in your textbook, page number 58. Let us go for another one. So, here what happens? A ray that instant on a curved surface separating the two media. Right? Separating the two media. Then, can we follow any rules or laws? In understanding the behavior of light ray when it is propagating from one medium to the another medium. Can anybody answer me what happens if a ray propagating from one medium to the another medium? What happens if a light ray changing its medium? No one know that? Changes its speed and refracts. Yes. Changes its medium. Changing in its speed gives the phenomena called a refraction. Bending of light ray at the interface. So, 
how to understand in case of curved surface because here there is no problem with the plane surfaces why sir here i have plane surface right if if a light ray incident on the uh, plane surface right here below it below the line if i have a medium called a what a tensor medium shaded region right so here if i incident that if i incident that what happens to that light ray can anybody can anybody here we need to understand we know about pencil activity so here simply we can use a perpendicular line onto the surface perpendicular line onto the surface so what it will be called as this line perpendicular line no. at the point of incidence Called as normal to the surface, right? What surface we are dealing plane here? So in case of plane surface, there is no difficult in uh, in uh, that what assuming the normal or drawing the normal in our diagrams. So easily you will draw a perpendicular to the plane surface, right? Then we know light ray bends towards the normal after refraction, right? So it bends in what direction towards the normal like this. So it goes like this. So here we know easily. But in case of curved surface, how do you deal? Can this logic towards the normal away from the normal will be work out? So let us understand that. Are you following? Yes. So now. I am going for another that is here understanding the terms related to the curved surfaces, right? What it is a curved surface. So here front left surface is convex surface, right surface is convex concave surface. So here I am taking one of the medium surrounded your curved surface is air and another surface shading region, right? I am taking as denser medium that is by water so i am using the same glass which is filled with water right so one of the surface is convex surface another surface is concave surface so here water is acting like denser medium and uh, another is acting like rarer medium right so which is rarer medium here anybody which is rarer medium I am asking you only. Air. Air. So air is what? Rarer medium. Water is tensor medium. Right? Water is tensor medium. So here, now, here we are learning the terms related to that. Here, you have curved surface. Right? You have curved surface. So this we can call it as what? Curvature. This we can call it as what? Curvature. So on the curvature, do you find which point is midpoint on the curvature? On the curvature. Do you find? Yes, we can find them. So equal lengths that we can call it as what? Are, uh, radius of, sorry, uh, parameter in case of circle, hmm, circumference, right? Circumference, right? So here, for the curvature, you have to find out that one. So you will get something, suppose it is given 30 centimeters. What is its midpoint? Fifteen centimeters, yes. So that point you have to find out on the curvature, right? So. Here, that point identified by me with a red point, red spot. So, that midpoint or the center on the curvature, 
center of curvature node, center on the curvature is called pole. This is also called as in case of curved surfaces. We can call it as pole or optic center. Right? In case of this, we can call it as pole or optic center. Clear? I am giving you the terms related to this curved surfaces. Is it clear or any confusion? Midpoint or center on the curvature. Center of curvature is different. Center on the curvature that I am naming as pole or optic center. Right? If it is clear, we will go for that one. So, pole. I got definition for the pole. So, pole is midpoint on the curvature or center on the curvature. Right? So then, what it is? What it is? Here, look at. So, for that, just I will give you one rough diagram on the screen using a circle. Right? Here, I am using this one. Just look at. I am adjusting to coincide with this curvature. So, how do you feel now? It is top view, right? Top view. How you can identify this one as a circle or a sphere, right? So, this circle or a sphere has anything in its middle. At its middle, here, what you can call the point. What you can call this one? Center. 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 So, I am making a part from this. Right? Just I am cutting this at this spot. So, what will be remains if I cut this one remains as yes or no? I made a part. I made a part from the sphere. So, this is only curved surface for me. Three dimension. So, this part has center or not? If you see this, it look like this. If I connect the two ends. So, it is now three dimensional sphere. So, it has center. So, its center is what? Center of the sphere, right? From which it made a part that center of the sphere only act as center for this curvature. Clear everyone? Use your quick reaction. So, any curved surface has center. This is clear or not? Yes. So, that center I am representing with C. Let us see. Called as center of curvature. Called as center of curvature. Center of curvature is what? It is center for the curvature. That curvature is made a part from a sphere. That sphere center only acts as center for this curvature. That is the meaning. So, I got two terms. Pole or optic center and center of curvature. Pole or optic center and center of curvature. Now, I am connecting that pole and center of curvature with a line. Do you see that line? I connected that two points, what they are, pole and optic center. So, pole or optic center with center of a curvature. Right? That line I am calling eyes now here, principal axis. Right? Good. Everyone, got it? What is principal axis? The line which is joining the pole and the center of curvature. We know already what is pole. We know already what is center of curvature. That imaginary line which is connecting or passing through it called as center principal axis. So, I got one more term is principal axis. So, here look at the lines. I am showing as a race here that which meet the surface. What you can hear, call these light rays? Parallel to them. Okay, that I am not asking. Meeting the surface or focused on the surface. 
that light rays you can call it as what special name we are giving for that which rays i am not saying no 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 i am not saying they are very close to principal axis just they are targeted on the surface i mentioned if any light targeted on the surface is called as what incident light ray very good they are called as incident light rays right they are called as incident light rays so here we need to observe that bending of light ray in which direction it is bending for that what i required i am always saying light ray bends towards or away from which is that normal where you can find normal for the curved surface we learned in first lesson reflection of light which act like normal for the curved surface the line which is joining the center and the point of incidence so any line you can draw on to the curvature from the center that line we can call it as what normal is it clear everyone same knowledge what we learned in the first lesson so normally seen no difference in this here the line which is connecting the center and the curvature where you required that point you can connect so number of we can draw as many as radius or normals uncountable undefined infinity so normals always we are drawing the normals to the point of incidence only not other points clear everyone where we need normals towards the point of incidence only remember that towards the point of incidence right so here normals i got this is given in the principal axis sir uh, figure number 2 figure number 2 clear everyone is there any doubt or confusion in this topics okay let us join immediately i am ending this uh, session immediately join because time is going to end right so immediately join